Oops. All right. So the next thing you'll want to do is set up Google Earth Engine to be integrated with Google Cloud and with Planet Labs um, API so that you can download images straight from Planet into Google Earth Engine and so that you have cloud storage, which allows you to exceed the kind of limit that Google Earth Engine has on legacy assets. So legacy assets are what you're probably used to storing stuff in Google Earth Engine with. If you just were to go and hit new GeoTIFF or shapefile or what have you, it would probably come in as a legacy asset just with the users slash your username kind of format. But basically what you're gonna want to do is hit add a project and you'll create a new cloud project um, in order to have kind of a folder of cloud assets where you're less limited by storage kind of issues. So do that, give it a name, we'll make a cloud project named EE in Florida, Vermont. Um, I'll give it a name so that it's easier to identify in Google Cloud. I'll call it Vincent Vermont. I'll hit select. And that might take a second. But then it'll show up in your cloud assets and you can start storing image collections and images and all kinds of stuff in there. So the next step is going to be to go to Google Cloud. So I'll just look up Google Cloud. I'll go to that. And Google Cloud has a very confusing interface, but you'll want to go to console. And from there, go to this little thing where it lets you select a project. I'll go to all projects and then I'll find the one that I'm working in. And the next step is going to be to link Planet um, API to the Google Cloud folder that you have. So you'll go to IAM and admin and IAM. And this is where you'll add Planet as an API so that it can kind of have writer access to your Google Earth Engine folder. So I'm going to look up how to do this because I kind of forget. I'll go link Planet Labs to Google Earth Engine. GEE setup guide should come up. You'll click on that. And some of these first steps you might not need to follow per se. Um, because you've already got the folder set up in Google Earth Engine and all that. But you're, you've navigated to the IAM and admin page. And so on there, you'll select to add a new member and you're going to want to paste in this whole um, account link. And see, go over here and I'll hit add. And it's gonna be the new principal, command B, paste in that. Planet Labs kind of account thing. Select a role. I'll go back here and see what kind of role it wants. It wants Earth Engine Resource Writer role. So I'll look that up here. Earth Engine Resource Writer. And I'll hit save. And so what that's done is it's basically given Planet the ability to upload images directly into this folder in Google Earth Engine. Um, when I make a call to their API.